क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सिक्स से यूनिफॉर्म सर्कुलर डिस्क ऑफ मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शियर टू के जी मीटर स्क्वेयर अबाउट इट्स एक्सिस इज रोटेटिंग विद एंगल ऑफ स्पीड फोर रेडियन पर सेकेंड अनदर यूनिफॉर्म सर्कुलर डिस्क ऑफ मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया वन के जी मीटर स्क्वेयर अबाउट इट्स एक्सिस इज रोटेटिंग विद एंगल ऑफ स्पीड टू रेडियन पर सेकेंड इन सेम सेंस जेंटली ब्रॉट इन टू कॉन्टैक्ट फेस टू फेस को इनसाइडिंग एक्सिस ऑफ रोटेशन द लॉस ऑफ कानेटिक एनर्जी टिल दे अटेन द कॉमन एंगल ऑफ अलॉसिटी इज दिस स्टूडेंट्स The loss in kinetic energy can be found out using the formula half i one i two divided by i one plus i two into omega two minus omega one square. Here in i one is equal to two, omega one is equal to four, i two is equal to one, and omega two is equal to two. On substituting the values, we can write loss in kinetic energy is equal to half into two into one by two plus one. O minus two square. That is four by three joules, and therefore the correct answer is option number two. Now well, let us proceed to the question number thirty-seven. Question number thirty-seven says four identical thin rods, each of mass capital M and length L, are joined to form a square frame. Moment of inertia of this frame about an axis passing through one corner and perpendicular to its plane is. Dear students, there is a square frame and we have to find out the moment of inertia about this axis let this be side 1 this be 2 this be 3 and this be 4 the moment of inertia of side 1 and side 4 would be equal and would be equal to ml square by 3 to find out the moment of inertia of side 3 we have to know the distance of center of mass from this corner Now, dear students, if this length is l, this is l by two. From Pythagoras' addition, we can write down that this length is l square plus l square by four. Which will be equal to root five l by two. Let this be d. The moment of inertia of third rod is equal to moment of inertia of second rod, and it will be equal to m l square by twelve plus m. D square. This is from the parallax theorem. The students on substituting the value of d to be equal to root five by two l, we can write down that i three and i two have the value four by three m l square. The net moment of inertia is i one plus i two plus i three plus i four, and that is equal to ten m l square by three. And therefore, option number three is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the question number thirty-eight. Question number thirty-eight says two bodies of mass one kg and four kg have position vectors r one is equal to i cap minus two j cap plus four k cap and r two respectively. The position vector r two says that center of mass of the system is at origin S. Dear students, the position of center of mass can be written as m one r one vector plus m two r two vector divided by m one plus m two. For this to be zero. M1 R1 plus M2 R2 should be equal to zero, which means R2 should be equal to minus R1 multiplied by M1 by M2. On substituting the given values, we can write down that will be equal to minus I cap minus 2 J cap plus 4 K cap multiplied by 1 by 4. This will be equal to minus I cap by 4. Plus j cap by two minus k cap, and hence option number three is the correct answer. Now, dear students, let us proceed to the next question, which is question number thirty-nine. Question number thirty-nine says a particle of mass m is moving in xy plane along the straight line y is equal to three with constant velocity v vector as shown in the figure. Its angular momentum about origin O is. Dear students, as the particle is moving with a constant velocity rectilinearly, its linear momentum. Remains constant. Now, the angular momentum about O can be written as the product of the linear momentum and the perpendicular distance of the line of motion of the particle from O. Since the perpendicular distance of the line of motion of particle from O remains constant, the angular momentum of the particle remains constant in such a case. And therefore, the answer for this question is option number four. Now, let us proceed and discuss question number forty. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी से टू स्पेरिकल बॉडीज ऑफ मास एम एंड फोर एम एंड रेडियाई आर एंड टू आर रिस्पेक्टिवली आर रिलीज इन फ्री स्पेस विद इनिशियल सेपरेशन बिटवीन दर सेंटर्स इक्वल टू थर्टीन आर इफ दे अट्रैक्ट इच अदर ड्यू टू ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स ओनली देन द डिस्टेंस कवर्ड बाई द सेंटर ऑफ हैवी बॉडी बिफोर कोल्यूजन इज डी स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस केस सिंस दे आर मूविंग अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स ओनली द सेंटर ऑफ मास रिमेन्स एट रेस्ट the total distance that would be covered by the bodies would be 13r that is the initial separation minus the summation of radii which will be 10r if the distance covered by the 4m mass is d1 then the distance covered by the m mass will be 10r minus d1 now dear students since the center of mass has a zero displacement we can write down that 4m d1 should be equal to m into 10r minus d1 on solving this expression we can write down that d1 would be equal to 2r and hence option number 2 is the correct answer now let us proceed to the question number 41